Hey Charlie's family, log on. Charlie's family, my glad for Sono. Welcome to another video, right? If you have been here before, thank you so much for the support. I hope you've already subscribed. Please like, share, and you can always leave a comment. If you're new, a bonus welcome to you. I hope you'll be nice enough to subscribe, all right? If you come from Senti, raise a hand. If you come from Senti, raise a hand. Big up to all the Saint Elizabeth people. All the people from the Breadbasket Parish. Yes. Nice up yourself, a large up yourself. So today I'll be sharing interesting information with you. Yes. Some of you may know, some of you may not know it's going to be a first. Or some of you may even have a different side to this story right so I'll be sharing with you the names of some places in St. Elizabeth and the meaning behind them right so you need to listen throughout this video because you may just hear the name of where you live right your neck of the woods right but before I get into that uh, you know I'm from St. Elizabeth born and grow you know I have some areas <laughs> so I I'm just going to share the, 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 the meaning behind Saint Elizabeth so it was named in honor of, of Lady Elizabeth Modiford right she was the wife of Sir Thomas Modiford right and he was governor of Jamaica the year 1664 and 1671 Yes, so that's how St. Elizabeth got its name in honor of Lady Elizabeth Modiford, right? Yes. If you come from Senti, raise a hand. If you come from Senti, raise a hand. Big up to all the St. Elizabeth people, all the people from the Breadbasket Parish. Yes, nice up yourself, a large up yourself. So let's get into it and the first one is Aberdeen do you live in Aberdeen do you know how Aberdeen got its name well here goes Aberdeen's name can be credited to Alexander Forbes a Scotsman who named it from his home country a sugar estate the town later adopted the name it is located between Appleton sugar estate and the cockpit country that's Aberdeen. All right, moving right along. A compong. Entomology is from the Ashanti word Nayem Kopan. Nayan Kopan. Now, the, this means the lone warrior, right? It was also the name given to the brother of Captain Kojo, the second maroon leader. And Kojo is the brother of Nani. Right? Yes. Now we move on to Balaclava. Balaclava is named after the site of the Battle of Crimean War, 54 to 6. It is also thought to be a commemoration of the work of Jamaican nurse Mary C. Cole, who treated the wounded in that war. Right? Now moving on to Ballard's Valley. Ballard's Valley people, let me hear you say yay! Now, the namesake was Colonel Thomas ballard of the army of occupation 1655 who was gifted land in the parish breadnut valley breadnut valley's name is derived from a breadnut tree brosimum alicastrum brosimum alicastrum and that is the scientific name for the the breadnut tree 
Now, have you ever been to Breadnut Valley? Yeah, they have a nice river up there. You need to visit it, all right? Now, Cadun Valley. Cano Valley is so named for the production of canals in the area made from the abundance of cotton trees that are endemic to the area. Now, Cheltenham is an adaptation of Cheltenham in England. Cheltenham. All right, we're moving right along to the cockpit country. Cockpit country is named from limestone formations of crater-like pits, which are common in the area and are reputed to be bottomless. Now, depending on your location, you can see the land formation just like this depending on your angle when you when you when you're when you're that side yes just like this moving right along we're going down to coffee pen coffee pen in lakovia i had a classmate from there while i was at stets and they they call it coffee pen right but i'm seeing here coffee pen now named from maroon leader captain kodja's brother right now elam Elam people, let me hear you scream. Elam is thought to have been derived from Elam in the Bible. It was named by the Foster Brothers in the 18th century who lobbied for the arrival of Moravian missionaries, right? Funtil. Now, this was one of my favorite chill spots when I was a child. <laughs> yes, until the beach was closed. Now, Funtil is named from Funtil Manor. A former sugar plantation owned by Sir William Beckford of England, Lord Mayor of London in the 18th century. century. Giddy Hall. Giddy Hall was originally named Gideon Hall, a namesake of the first owner. It is unknown when it was renamed Giddy Hall. Goshen. What? What? Goshen people, raise your hand. Now this is the, the, the community next to mine pepper right goshen now goshen derived from the bible means the best of the land did you hear that the best of the land it got its name because of its affiliation with scottish missionaries all right now guthrie's delphi honors colonel guthrie an officer of the jamaican military who was commissioned by the government to conduct the peace negotiations with the maroons gutters we all know gutters this is where we get taxi to junction or where we come off to get taxi to santa cruz or some of us go there to get taxi to mandeville all right located at the border of saint elizabeth and manchester is said to obtain its name because of the difficulties experienced from the large accumulation of water after a heavy rainfall hampton moving on up to the cool hills of malvern we have hampton the prestigious hampton school for girls it is a thought to have been adopted from a place in england now hampton ladies give me a thumbs up all right hodges hodges is the namesake of joseph hodges holland an estate and now an entire area was named by its owners who named it after their first home in England. Bigwood, currently a village, this area was initially a property named after its first owner, Joe Williams Bigwood. And I had a classmate instead from this community, Bigwood. Now we're moving down to Lacovia. Said to have La Caoba, a Spanish word which comes from the Taino word for mahogany, referred to informally as Kobe. It is also thought to be from the Spanish word La Agua Vea, a word affiliated with lakes. Lancaster, thought to be a transplant from either England or USA, it was an estate owned with Bog, Elim, and Mesopotamia by William Foster and his brother 
Joseph Barham Foster. I am learning a lot. Lit it. Have you ever heard of this place? I have. Adopted from the Moravia, no, the Moravia Bay, Moravian missionaries in 1754, they initially named the church and the estate and village subsequently nearby took its name. Lover's Leap. Lover's Leap. The legend is that a pair of lovers jumped over 1,600 feet to their death instead of risking being split up. If this isn't love, then what it is? All right, moving on over to Magotti. Magotti is said to have been coined from the Spanish derivative Magotti, which means bundle or heap. The word is thought to originally mean either a boundary, stone, or a small heap making some division of land, right? Now we're heading down to the shrimp country. Do you know which community is called the shrimp country? Hmm. Yes, middle quarters and big up to all the middle quarters people watching this video. Now, middle quarters, its origin is uncertain. One explanation is that a quarter session of a court was held there. Another explanation is that it was originally privateers' quarters. The land was given by Henry Morgan's privateers to transform them into legitimate farmers. Interesting. What's your story? Now, let's go over to South St. Elizabeth. Morning side. You know, this team used to beat up my, my netball team when I was in primary school. <laughs> All right, so Morningside has been transformed from Scotland and is thought to have been named from Scotsmen who had settled in St. Elizabeth. Mount Carmel is said to be an adoption from Pennsylvania, USA, named by missionaries. Now, Mount Charles is the namesake of Charles Phipps from the 18th century. Nain. Hmm. Nain is another adoption of Labrador by Moravian missionaries who served in the parish in 1754. Interesting. Newmarket. Newmarket is named from Newmarket in England. All right. Over to Parker's Bay. Parker's Bay named in honor of Captain William Parker of the Army of Occupation 1655 who resided in St. Elizabeth in the 16th century. Long time something that may you never ever born it. Well, for the younger folks. <laughs> Pedro Plains. This is thought to have been named after Pedro Esquivel, the first Spanish governor. Another explanation is that it was named after Perida, one of the initial Spaniards to settle in the to settle in the parish. Now, Pepperpin, now commonly known as pepper, is adopted from a nearby popular livestock or stud farm, right? And that is just up the road from me. The 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 farm is no longer in operation but i have a story about how pepper got its name and i'm going to do a completely different video for that one look out pisgah pisgah is adopted from the bible now we are heading on over to roses valley now roses valley is partially the namesake of owner william rose a former estate owner makes sense not sure it adds up yeah i think so all right now we go down to sangsters heights this was named to commemorate former prime minister donald sangster a native of the parish who died in 1967 some of you didn't even know that but now you know now we head on down to tombstone Located at the junction of Magotti and Lacovia, one explanation is that it is named from the remains of two young men 
who killed each other in a duel initiating from a quarrel but killed each other so it would mean that they kill each other at the same time because if one is dead how can the dead man go and kill the live man i mean you get what i'm saying yeah all right let's move on over to warminster it is thought to have been adopted from an urban district in England. It was said to be owned by a William Aldman. Right? Yes. And the last, but by no means least, and you can always comment and tell me where you live and the meaning behind it all if you if you know, right? Whitehall whitehall is a namesake of owner james whitehall from 19 sorry from 1793 to 1808 long long time something we are talking about yes now sources used i must give credit because i went and did this research i found it interesting and i said you know i must share this with charlie's family right so Condal Frank, 1939, Higman, Brian, Higman Hudson, 2009, Senior, 2003, and Sibley, 1978, right? I hope you learned something interesting. Remember, you can always comment below the name of your community and what it means, or if you have or know of another story or meaning behind the name of one that I shared, you can comment below. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed yet another video from Charlisha Baker. Take care, guys. See you next time.